So it's been over two weeks since we put Howard into the Barn Owl Tower. So it didn't quite work out for Howard down at the Elm Stump. So this was our next option to try him in the uh, Barn Owl Tower. And we put him in the nest box for a day and we actually closed him in there. So this gave him a chance to get used to his new home and the cameras were perfect so we could monitor him. And they seemed to be settling in really well. He was clearly wanting to explore, but it was really important we kept him held in that nest box for at least a day. So he got used to that place as his home. So the following day we let Howard out of the box and he was straight away exploring, hopping around on the different levels, which was great to see. Despite being younger than Hans and Greet, he was looking pretty confident. And then my heart was in my mouth when he started eyeing up the outside world, looking out of the entrance holes. So Howard eventually made a leap for it and actually headed out onto the roof. And uh, that was quite a heart-stopping moment. Ideally, I wanted him to stay in there a little bit longer, but he's an adventurous owl and uh, he was just wanting to see what was out there. So as Howard came out onto the roof, Barney and Gilfie went into the tower and were looking around in the tower, almost looking for him and to see what had been happening in there. I left it a while, I had to let uh, nature take its course and hope uh, Barney and Gilfie accepted this new chick. And I was out here just before midnight that evening and I could see uh, Howard upon the roof. I was watching from behind the hedge up there and Barney came in and fed Howard. So I knew then I could go to bed and uh, rest that night knowing he'll be looked after. So then we had a tense few days. I hadn't seen Howard for a couple of days. I heard him a couple of times out here in the wood, but the weather was lousy and I was just hoping Barney was feeding him. And then one day I was just uh, at the house and I spotted him on the other side of the valley there in the hedge, sheltering, the weather was poor again. Uh, so I went to see him, I grabbed my camera and got some lovely footage of him. And I was amazed how grown up he looked. His uh, down had gone, but I knew it was him. He had that ring on his left leg and uh, he actually flew back and landed on the tower before skipping off back into the wood. And uh, I knew then he was gonna be okay. And then one evening, something absolutely fabulous happened. Howard found his way back into the tower and started feeding in there. So this was the key to his survival now. Unfortunately, we hadn't seen Barney for a few days. So I took over the feeding duties of Howard, popping food there in the tower. And it was fabulous to see him come back every evening, really comfortable in there, eating the food I put out for him. And then one evening, uh, Howard started posturing. There was obviously another owl about. And then Gilfie came in. So they both were on the shelf together and they went beak to beak almost sort of working each other out, uh, working out the pecking order, literally. Uh, and that was absolutely great to see. It was non-aggressive, this is normal barn owl behavior. And they actually went on to spend some time in there together that evening. So since then, Howard's been coming back every evening and I've been popping food out for him and he's really happy there now. And it's been great to see that he's actually uh, doing really well now after a shaky start. He's now a wild owl.